There I was, up in my room, just like every other night, counting taillights on the highway. Soon the cars below would reach the city, but me, I'd still be here, stuck in sleepy suburbia. Or so I thought. But sometimes extraordinary things will happen if you just let them. Welcome to suburbia, just outside the city, sometime in 1980X. What you see around here used to be all that I cared for, because it was all that I knew. It was here that I'd met my first friends, rode my first bike, found my first love, and found out that nothing lasts forever. This is the place I grew up in and grew out of. A place I loved and hated. I remember walking around these blocks for hours, just waiting for something to happen. I knew I needed to move forward. But every day felt like I was on a road to nowhere. The same office buildings and cheap restaurants, the grocery store, the laundromat, and the video rental place where dad used to take me on the weekends. He'd be looking for classics while I was more into superheroes. Oh man, we could go on forever. But then, we didn't go there anymore. It was no big deal. These days, I guess I was just looking for anything that could make my heart skip a beat again. And that was when I found it. The factory was built long before I was born, but had been shut down and abandoned for as long as I could remember. Mom used to tell me to stay away from there, but there was something down that pitch black alley that caught my eye. It took all the guts I had to go down the stairs. The basement air was thick with cigarette smoke and 10,000 volts of energy. And in the midst of this electric haze stood an army of high-tech creatures, their huge crystal clear screens flashing before my eyes. I had seen video games before, Dad even brought home one black and white model when I was really young. But this was something else. Something you could not take home with you. And this place was definitely no hangout for children. 
In front of these machines stood some of the coolest uncool people I had ever seen. There were the freaks, the geeks, the misfits, the outcasts, the real rebels, part of something the outside world could not understand or even knew existed. These guys were all playing trance-like, totally absorbed, as if they experienced something from another dimension. Maybe I could be one of them.